Hi, I'm Chris Major from Chris Wood Heat Services from the Blue Sky region and I service the Central and North Bay area. I've been conducting inspections and completing installs for a couple of decades now. I would like to explain what the WET acronym stands for. It stands for Wood Energy Technology Transfer, a nonprofit training and education association. I will be producing a small series of videos about the most frequently asked questions that are difficult to answer over the phone. First of all, there is no replacing having an experienced certified tradesman evaluating and installing a major mechanical system regardless of the forms of fuel that are used. That could be oil, gas, propane, electric. Uh, but wood is not a regulated industry and, and what I mean by that is that anybody can walk into a hardware store, buy a wood stove, buy sections of the chimney and install it. A garage is considered a hazardous location. Now there's variables in that. There's a repair garage, a building or part of there where facilities are provided for the repair or servicing of a motor vehicle. Now keep in mind if you look up vehicle, it also includes a cart. So that could be all types of vehicles, including a golf cart, for example. Storage garages is considered a building or part thereof that is intended for the storage or parking of a motor vehicle and contains no provisions for the repair or servicing of such vehicles. So first and foremost, an appliance shall not be installed in a location where a corrosive atmosphere, flammable gas or vapor, combustible dust or combustible fibers might be present. I'm going to read this part as part of the, uh, the uh, B365 code and the reason why I want to read it is that I don't want to miss out on something. An appliance shall not be installed in a location where corrosive atmosphere, flammable gas or vapor, combustible dust or combustible fibers might be present. It may be installed in a storage or residential garage, provided that the appliance is mounted in such a manner that the components representing the source of ignition, such as a blower or the bottom of the firebox, is at least 450 millimeter or 18 inches above floor level and protected against physical damage. So what that means is, is that you would raise the appliance off the floor, maybe cinder blocks, you have to do it so it's not precariously just raised. And that the firebox that you would be setting the wood into is at least 18 inches off the floor. I'm also a gas tech. If you were to look at other codes, I think you'll find that it's very similar to other codes and other fuels. A commercial repair garage or other facility used for the maintenance of equipment that might involve volatile flammable substances provided that the appliance is located in a room that is separated from the remainder of the building by a vapor tight fire separation. The room that I just specified cannot be directly accessible from the location of the volatile substance and all duct penetrations of the vapor tight fire separations are located at least two meters, 6.5 feet above the floor level. Now I'll be drawing out a, a little diagram on that and it'll make this a little bit clearer. But I wanted to read you specifically on the requirements uh, to the to the code. So the requirements to install a wood stove in a storage garage, you first need to determine the height of the chimney. And if you need to do that, you can see my video installing chimneys, how to figure out the required height of a chimney. So here we are in a garage. Inside there, we have a wood stove. And it goes up. So 
So the first thing you need is the height of the wood stove from the firebox to the floor has to be 18 inches. You can do that Some people will make a platform and put a little concrete slab on top. A non-combustible, obviously. Typically, garages have a concrete floor. Or you would need to get ember protection on the floor. The next thing that you need is to have protection from impact. So in this case, it might be two pillars. Or if I draw a diagram looking down in the garage, here's the garage door, here's the wood burner, you'd have protection from impact. That can be made out of any, anything that's gonna offer protection. But you have to keep in mind if you're using a wood product that there's clearances involved to the stove. And this wood stove would have to be off the floor 18 inches. Okay, so behind me is a typical garage. It's actually my garage. And if you went into that garage, you might see some oil stains on the floor. I service my vehicles. You're going to find a couple layers of tools, table saw, so that would constitute a potential hazardous location. It's more than storage. And that's something you have to consider. So if you walked in there, you're gonna find that my heat source is a unit heater, propane. And it hangs from the ceiling. So that's why they do that. So you don't have to worry about protection from impact. And it's well off the floor not to ignite any uh, gas fumes from any vehicles that might be in there. It's very, very important that you determine what you're using your garage for. And there is some concern in the industry that they would like the practice of putting wood stoves in garages stop. In the last code that came out in 2017, not only did they reaffirm that you could, they made slight changes to better the situation. There's a lot of discussion about this, but to have people making man caves and installing wood stoves, not requiring any regulation, it would all go underground and that would be worse. So you have to remember that if somebody's constructing a, a garage, it's hard to tell what, what they're using it for. So if the, if the situation changes and you start doing a lot of woodworking and you're doing that through the winter and you want a heat source, it's now a hazardous location. I say that as a cautionary suggestion that I, I totally am good with wood stoves being installed in a storage garage, but really you have to be truthful of what you're using it for. And there's a big difference between a storage garage and a garage that you're going to be servicing your vehicle. And that's something to keep in mind.